Hi, my name is Carl, and I'm a psychologist and a creativity trainer. Can you imagine what I look like? Am I tall or rather short person? What is my hair color? What is my eye color? How am I dressed? I'm sure each one of you imagine a slightly different person. Maybe because you know someone who has a similar voice to mine. We can think of and imagine so many different things. Today, when you woke up, what did you think about? Did you think about breakfast that you're going to have? Did you think about your parents or your family that you're going to see very soon? Or maybe you thought about your friends that you're going to see at school. We can imagine so many different things and that is why we can be so creative. But is imagination something that we just have or don't have? Or is it something that we can get better and better at? Something that we can train? Well, the good news is that psychologists discovered that everybody can train their imagination. Just like in sports, the more you train, the better athlete you become. And it's similar with imagination. The more you practice, the more creative you become. In order to do that, you might want to follow certain tips that psychology has given to us. First tip is that it should be fun. If you want to use your imagination or develop your ideas, make sure you will have a good, good time. Second tip is that it's really good to have some friends around you because friends can help you out when you feel stuck or they can help you develop your own idea. The third tip is that the more, the better. The more ideas you generate in the first place, the better chance you will come up with something really, really cool. You probably wonder now, so where does imagining things happen in our head, in our brain? Well, psychologists and neurologists were trying to find out. Some time ago, they thought that it's mainly happening in the frontal cortex of our brain. Frontal cortex is the part of our brain that's really, really close to our eyes. But right now, we understand that it's really much more complex than just that. Creativity and imagining things is really happening in 12 or 13 different parts of our brain. Surprisingly, these parts of our brain are stimulated by movement of our body or by different senses. So everything that you can see, you can hear, you can smell or you can touch. So if you want to get really creative, make sure you involve your whole body in that process. So why is imagination so important? Well, it helps us all to be creative. Most of the things around you, planes, your house, or your favorite movie were created by someone. So imagination helps us to come up with new ideas, solve some problems, or at least have a good time. Just imagine what happens in your brain when you get creative. Your thoughts dance with each other, they split into something new, they transform, they spin around, and something new happens. The same thing happens in a group when you work with your friends or colleagues. When you exchange your ideas, you can help each other, you can transform each other's ideas and create something really, really new. All those things will be happening during this lesson. Sounds fun?